This right here is an ESP32 board. It has Wi-Fi and has Bluetooth, and this is a little antenna that it has so you can communicate with it. And this is the LCD that I'm using. It's a it's SD7789, just like that. VCC to positive. Let's see if it actually turns on the LCD. Okay, I can see the backlight on the LCD. Now let's see if it can actually put something on it, on the LCD here. Okay, I wrote a little code. Ready? It's gonna happen. Oh, sorry. It's not connected. Here's we connect. Then we hit upload. Um, what happened? Did it upload? Okay, I'm just using the CLI instead. Fuck that v VS Code extension shit. Oh, nothing's happening on here. I've been looking at this shit for hours. You want to know what was wrong? Look, I'm supposed to put this in pin 23, right? So I'm looking at that. And I'm like, that's 23, right? But no, that's 32 and it's upside down. There's 23. It's right here. You stupid fuck. You stupid, you stupid fuck. Ugh, my worst now. Look at that. Whoa. Second day, I'm gonna reveal my plans. So I have a couple stocks that I bought and I'm holding. One's SPXL, the other one is SOXL. I'm not good with these stuff, but I'm just trying. What I was thinking about was that I can have the charts, the daily charts for any stock that I have on a tiny LCD on my desk. So something like that, um, you can see right now the symbol, there is a little triangle telling you that it's like positive or negative if it's facing down. And that's the chart right now. There's no data on it, but there should be like data going up and down. Damn, would you look at that? Right now it's connected to my Wi-Fi, my home Wi-Fi in the other room and it's fetching the current price of SOXL. It's $54. It's gonna go way higher than that, but that's not what we're talking about. It's connected. It's connected to the Wi-Fi, it's fetching the price. Oh, I'm naked. Oh, there's so many hours of coding, I got it right. There you go. The little chart there. But right now it's just dots. So let's wait for a little bit of fluctuations in the price. I wrote a little bit of code to fill the graph with triangles, so let's see how that works. Look at that. Can you see the little threads of emptiness in there? That's because my algorithm is just kind of... As you can probably see, I made another mistake there. I'm doing that sort of triangulation, but I should be doing this and that. See? Okay, now I added a little bit of um, a line on there so that it'll be, um, it'll look better. Okay, that is the final state of things. Um, we have a tiny little graph here. It's going down or I'm losing money. But the problem with that is, can you see the problem? The problem is that it's on a breadboard. So we need to find, we need to turn it into a desktop gadget that connects to the battery that we created and we can just have it on the desktop. There it is. It shoots it out that way. So I won't be breathing it here.
wire is a bit more flexible. Too tiny though. So I was adjusting this thing and it came off. And I'm, I don't, I'm not really satisfied with my work here, the soldering and everything. So 